Karibu tena mtazamaji katika KTN Burudani TV na kwa kipindi chetu Lembe Lembe. Kwa majina naitwa David Oyuki na kama kawaida hii ni show ina inazungumzia yale mambo ya mapenzi, ndoa na jinsi ya kukaa pamoja. Na kabla hata twende mbali tuko hapa katika Daysta University Valley Road Campus na tunashukuru sana wametupatia nafasi ya kuhavi conversation na watu nguvu sana alafu tena tunajua kwamba vitu vimekuwa vigumu hapa nje yetu sio lakini fanaka loto imekuja ili iwasaidie na pia inisaidie na pia iwasaidie uh, ku ensure ya kwamba kuna kitu kwa mfuko na maanisha nini kuna kitu fulani inaitwa fanaka loto sio kama umetambua fanaka loto lakini kama ungetaka kushinda milioni moja ni rahisi sana unafaa tu kufanya hivi enda kwenye mpesa paybill alafu uende kwenye business number uandike nambari 290058 kisha account number weke win na wale kishi weke shiliki hamsini tu shilingi hamsini tu na unaweza stand the chance ya kushinda milioni moja. Ni katasi ya Fonaka Loto na draw inafanyika kila Tuesday na Friday saa tatu usiku. Nataka tuende kwa panel yetu leo na tujue au ni akina nani, wanafanya nini, alafu tuingie katika topic yetu ya leo. Acha tuanze na wewe. Unaitwa nani? Wewe ni nani? Unafanya nini? <laughs> Una come cool by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Asante sana. Uh, David, uh, my name is Shilanjeri. I'm an electronic media at Daystar uh, University. Uh-huh. Uh, final year student basically. Uh-huh. Yes. Uko excited kumaliza? I'm super. Nimefurahi yeah. <laughs> sana kumaliza. After 4 years. After 4 years I'm finally done. Okay. <laughs> yes. Ni poa sana man. Uh, gatoto. Oh, you, you <laughs> I think now we can move on. Tuambie ni itwa nani na wanafanya nini? Ah, majina ni Martin Gatoto. Mimi ni mfanya biashara na Robi. Eh baba watoto watatu okay i need to mention that because of what you told me to kianza <laughs> <laughs> yes i'm glad to be here okay karibu sana bro ni aje poa sana unaitwa nani bro ah mimi naitwa bazenge anon uh-huh. endovo ah uh, mimi mwanafunzi hapa dista uh, nafanya mba in strategic management mm-hmm. pia nafanya biashara na pia mimi ni secretary general hapa dista pia wana aha yeah. okay Asante sana by the way days ta kutufungulia njia kwa uh, lembe lembe hapa. Nataka tu ongea juu ya kitu fulani ni mwana watu. watu wengi. Ni kama wananoma nayo. Wazazi wanafaa kuwa involved kwa relationship za watu wao directly. Najua tuko na mzazi hapa na niangalia ni kama nime <laughs> na, naangoja kuwasikia. <laughs> Especially now that my daughter is about to join campus oh. in uh, when next month. Ooh. Sasa mgeza kuongea mambo ya relationship ninaona. Waje niwasikie. I think I think I I should tuambia hati yake iko wapi. Lakini kama ma today eh. Na najua so interact na wase wa young sana. Unaona kwamba wase wa young wanyako katika uhusiano wanafa ku involve wazazi wao katika relationship yao. Advice nini waambie zile vitu zinafanyika ama keep off Buda siku zako zilipita mimi nita ku involve siku ya wedding unaonaje <laughs> bazenga mimi naona inafaa uh, wazazi unaona waongee na wa, uh, watoto wao mm-hmm. itakuwa bora zaidi kwa maana ukiangalia wakati uko na stress una deal na hizo stress alone mm-hmm. unaona lakini kama ungekuwa free na mzazi wako mwambie mambo imeenda hivi naweza kuambia unajua utafanya hivi utafanya hivi lakini bado wazazi wetu wa Kiafrika mm. uh, sema bado wajakubali mambo kama hayo unaona wanaona sio mambo ya muhimu mm. uh, umefika 20 years uko 23 na bado wanaona 25 uh, years old yeah <laughs> like, wanakuangalia wanasema soma kwanza uh-huh. ni kama maisha ni masomo pekee mm. sasa unaona hapo kuna kuwa na shida kidogo mm-hmm. lakini kama mngekuwa tunaongea maneno haya tukiwa na shida tukiwa tunaendelea vizuri sio lazima tuseme mambo yale yanaendelea kabisa mm-hmm. lakini wata unaweza tueleza zile boundaries tunaweza weka mm-hmm. ndio maana utaona kitu kama ku, uh, umerealize kumekuwa na a lot of killing because mm-hmm. of relationship mm-hmm. uh, but kama wazazi wangekuwa in it mm-hmm. i think onge vitu zingine wangekuambia pa anaenda hapa uh-huh. pole pole uh-huh. ni sawa kama amefanya hivi uh-huh. unaona lakini ile stress uko nayo peke yako mm-hmm aya unapata marafiki zako hata wakusikizi ama pia wako na hizo shida pia eh, so nani anakusaidia <laughs> shila acha <laughs> yeah. eh, nikuuliza tu yani roho safi tu tuseme kuna boy wako 
Ndiyo, mepatana. Ndiyo, babayako anaona. Ndiyo, <laughs> <laughs> hey, wajitu anaona, babayao, anaona. <laughs> Sato seme, ukuna boy wako mazee, yep. umempenda, hizi vitu zote. Yep. Uneze ndia wazazi wako for advice? Um, kwangu, naona wazazi ni wazazi. In as much as uh, there's a taka advice from them, I think the relationship is between me and my mm. boyfriend or my spouse or whoever it is. So, uh, and there wazazi as much unless me is same equal violent. Mm. When it becomes a violent relationship, that's when now I'll consult my friends. But before that, yeah. I think I'll try mtajaribuku work on it and then see if if it's something that I can't manage, mm. then that's when I go to my friends. So, kama uni mzazi. Mm-hmm. And I'm scared. Right now, I'm feeling like my daughter is doing funny things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. But then, I'm scared. Got out. To me, scared. Come back. Mzaza ta consult you atu kukiwa na vita siyo. Ama something that's difficult to manage. Sasa kama kuna difficulty, mzazi ata wei juo kuna relationship. Ah, every relationship ina kwa na difficulty. Akuna smooth sailing relationship. Uh-huh. No. Lakini tu se meja kuwa yu violent ama nini. Lando tu se metu nizi izi no maza. Ah. Haku, haku show up on time, hali nikasirisha, mm-hmm. vitu kama hizo. Hizo vitu zikiwezi nafanyika. Mm-hmm. Mzazi wako haezi jua about relationship unless labda kukuna kitu ya ugumu sana ndani. Unless I said me and uh, the next stage, the serious stage where ah. I'm introducing him to my parents, yeah. but no. Gatoto, unweza <laughs> taka kujua before <laughs> the serious stage. Ni <laughs> mwaskia, but let me tell you something. Eh? Yeah. You know, it looks like it was just the other day I was your ages. Hey, Inaka tu ni juzi. Sikuza ju- hey, yes. Sibio. Alafu <laughs> sasa mali tumefika sasa tumekuwa sasa sisi ni wale ma parents mnaongea story hiyo. <laughs> Anaona ukifanya ka flashback unaona miaka 20 ilienda wapi? Mm. You know, mm. cuz 20 years ago I was 27. Mm. And now I'm a father of of a child who is 19. And I'm going to university next month. And I'm going to campo. That one is going to be the day star. What I can tell you is that nothing much has changed. Hmm. Uh, apart from, I know your peers even yet to relate to our parents. We, we were having the same conversations. Hmm. But having gone through certain experiences of life, do you know that kama kunaweza kana, uweze kuwa free with your parents. Hmm. Uh, Na pia parent aweze kuwa understanding. And the, I mean, kuwa mtoto. Mm. Ajue kuwa mba this is, legally that, that somebody is over 18, that's an adult. Mm. Aneza fanya zile vitu nataka. Aneza fanya. But you can only hope that the guidance that you give them, because you cannot start when they are grown up. Mm. You start as they are growing. Mm. You know, go through puberty with them. Let them understand mgeni ya kikuja, what has happened. They are not dying, they are not bleeding out. Mm. You know? So that as 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 they begin even to develop even physically like now me of course I was a bit traumatized when my my daughter alianza kupata a chest nikajua hiyo akiguzwa wewe nikuka so now from there you had to become but you did larger na hiyo story nani mimi why vile you did larger na hiyo story huku mm utaomba my friend utaomba because you see now as these children are growing you're also growing with them. You're also getting new experiences. You're also beginning to understand where your parents were coming from mm-hmm. when they were saying do's and don'ts. Mm-hmm. Maybe they did not deliver well in their communication. <laughs> but their heart was in the right place. Mm-hmm. And now when you're in that space, you see things differently. Mm-hmm. The conversations that you're having today, mm-hmm. when you review them in another 20 years, that's when you get to understand you know, you'll be able to understand where these guys are coming from. So the most important thing is communicate. Mm-hmm. Meet halfway. Parents, don't be too strict. Mm-hmm. Be approachable. Uko rafiki kwa mtoto wako? Yeah, yeah, uko mtoto. Kwa rafiki, lakini kumbuka wendi yoko when baki ama mamake. Weni mzazi pia. You are an authority over this child. Mm-hmm. Hata kama ni adult, bado ni mtoto. Mm-hmm. When I go to my parents, uh, in spite of at nimefika nimekaribia <laughs> ka 5 <laughs> bado ni mtoi kwa wao mimi bado ni mtoi umeona acha acha nilize bazenga na shila sole flani eh tusemea kwamba mzazi wako aone sms exchange zako between we na chali yako ama demo yako anaweza reactaje acha tuanze hapa naona vile amefanya sura 
anaweza anaweza kuwa shocked si lazima si lazima usijanike sana usijanike sana utasema lakini eh anaweza kuwa shocked anaweza kuwa happy ama mnaweza ka chini listen tukue safe kiasi jo la jo anaweza angalia um i think there are certain days anaweza go through shocked. the thread anaweza kuwa sawa kuna zile siku anaweza kuwa shocked and uh, that's why i think kuna passwords on your phone at the time unaonya sha picha una mfuko hapa tuko we usipite hapa ni hapa between here and here so i think i don't know it's technology but so idea sana because if you consider times a landline and then uh, if your parents picked up the phone alafu anasikia ni chali o chali anaanza kuongea kani mtu wa telco sorry <laughs> so i don't know it's uh, it's difficult but at the same time I would like to have the open communications with my parents where I'm able to just say hey okay so mom this is my boyfriend and so and so and so but at the end of the day I know how my parents will react what are cause less I know I will focus on school and then now we move forward yeah so so acha nikuambie story unaanza la story kuna kitu fulani hapa so so acha message so mimi nilikuwa niko form 2 so so unajua ile pressure ya form 2 hapa pale so nimetoka boarding nimekuja nyumbani. Nikikuja nyumbani ile wakati mi ni last born. So bado mambo ya kufua nini na peana tu. Mm. Eh? Na kuja na toa na rusha hapo mi hata siangalii ndani. Sasa kitu ilifanyika ni ukiwa pale mimi nimepewa ile mipira ya kujikinga. Mm. Eh? Kondom. Mm. Sasa mimi sijui niliacha. Yes. Nime nimeacha kwa mfu. Kwanza mwenye nimepewa nao me I don't know what to use for it. Mm. I don't know how I can use it. Sasa akapata. Nani alipata? Mama yangu akapata. Ni mama. Sasa hakuniambia direct. Akaniuliza nimepata vitu zingine. Sijui za nani. But kwa sababu mimi sijakuwa mtoto mbaya nini? Kwanza ka assume maybe ya brother yangu. Cuz kuna kuna kule your brother mwenye anakuanga mtovu wa nidhamu and everything. Lakini sasa kaanza story. Ana tu advice hapa akasema mnajua kuna ukimwi. Even though we introduce your conversation by the way. Niliogopa. Sikukuwa na relationship until nilimaliza fufu. Oh. Ungemwambia nikaanza correct room. Unajua? Unaona? Lakini niliogopa. Eh. Eh? Kwanza kukuwa na kitu kama hiyo. Wewe unaona kuna kama mtoto mbaya. Mtoto umepoteza. Unaelewa? Unaona lakini angeniambia hizi vitu ziko lakini hazistahili kutumika sasa hizi ama maliza hivi ingekuwa bora zaidi. Eh? Lakini sasa unaona alafu kumbuka mimi mara mingi nili avoid kabisa. Mm-hmm. By the way hiyo kitu ilinisaidia kwa sababu unajua 208 huko 207 tuo, tuo ile wakati simu ni mzazi alikuwa na simu peke yake sio sasa hizi uko form 1 niko na simu yako sasa hizi. So bado tulikuwa tunatumia simu hapo ndio unasema don't reply This is my <laughs> Don't reply this is my father's phone. <laughs> this is my father's phone. Sasa kulikuwa na makosa. Mamangu alikuwa ameni trust sana. Sasa mimi niko na simu kukakuwa na ule rafiki yangu. Rafiki yangu tu ni wakike lakini rafiki yangu. Sasa yeye yeah, akatumia simu ya ya, ya, ya mamangu sasa kupigia uh, boyfriend yake. Ikakuwa shida kabisa. Sasa wazazi wetu wakiona conversation kama zile Eh? Kwanza wenyewe wanaanza kufikiria mtoto wangu amefanya mambo gani. Mm, unajua ukianza kuimagine mm. eh hata wewe mwenyewe hata mzazi anaanza kufikiria oi tazika before ni kweli nataka tuende mapumziko kiasi na tutakaporudi bado tutakuwa tunazingatia ili swali letu la leo. Swali ni hivi. Wazazi wanafaa kuwa involved katika uhusiano ya watoto wao ama wanafaa kukaa mbali kuna mzazi unaweza angalia sura yake <laughs> iko traumatized <laughs> lakini <laughs> uko sawa <laughs> uko sawa aya <laughs> unaweza jadiliana nasi pia katika KTN Lembe Lembe kwenye Facebook mnatuambia um, maoni yako tutarudi baada ya mapumziko hii ni Lembe Lembe